Hi guys and welcome to Bits and 87 Pez, the channel dedicated to Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. We are back after losing so many fucking games. It's been unbelievable. Like, I am probably the only person who started off quite good on Pez and has gone to be the worst. I don't know whether it's been the add-on of all the extra players into the team or even the packs, might, uh, the agent openings might have completely uh, hindered my progress in becoming a good player, but we are getting shit shafted every game if you missed any of the episodes make sure you go and check them back and you will see but after today's episode we are doing some agent openings again this weekend we are going to try and bolster that midfield um what should we try and bolster actually i don't we need a goal a goalkeeper is definitely one of them we need uh, midfielders and strikers so we'll do two parts and see if we manage to get any of them our first game is against this super team as well you did see his team line up there a very annoying team um, I didn't even know that team existed as well, like that badge, I don't even know what badge that is, but the kit was quite nice he was using. I was going for the slow approach again, and we kept getting caught on the fast counter. That player, Chavez, was ridiculous, like I wasn't really worried about him, he had some other dangerous players, I think um, his dangerous striker, I can't remember who it was, he had a very dangerous striker but I wasn't looking forward to the afro guy. He did score a few nice um, team play goals like that one, made it 2-0. And it was a frustrating game. Like, if you missed yesterday's episode, you will see how frustrated I was at that. And it got even more worse at this game. Some terrible defending by me. And it's not getting any better. Some terrible changing. And he is able to extend the lead to 3-0. I have no idea what the fuck to do anymore. Um, apart from maybe... I don't actually know. I, I am at a loose end where I don't actually know. I got really knocked off in this game, started trying to pass it out of defence, failed, bounces to Chavez and Chavez, Chavez is able to square it to Remy and make it 4-0. A 4-0 smashing is the last thing I wanted in this series and it has, has happened. Like if this was Division 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, I wouldn't really matter. But the fact it's in Division 10, which I did do alright in the first time round, I'm a bit annoyed and hopefully the episodes on Monday, Tuesday and and Wednesday will hopefully see us get promotion back into Division 9. But as you can see, a 1-0 loss, a 3-2 loss, a 2-1 loss and a 4-0 loss is not that good. The next team we come against is uh, Totti, Salah, Goethe, Rooney. Um, that is just a crazy looking team to be honest. Julio Cesar in net, Lam and Kadira in defensive midfield. Uh, and a defence which I don't really know about it. But... When playing this guy, his defence was good. I don't know whether it was the fact he was using them well or the fact the players were actually good themselves. I don't really know the ratings of them. I don't think there is any places to find the ratings out of the players. If there is, guys, let me know in the comments section below. I won't mind taking a look at the ratings of the Pez players, but I haven't seen anything anywhere yet. Unless you actually go into the edit mode and have a look. He takes the lead with a nice bit of skill. Um, nice bit of skill to do me, but then the ref give a penalty. And that penalty was annoying because I didn't feel like I touched him. And obviously he does score from the penalty, which makes the game even more frustrating. I said at the start of this, um, when I started doing Pro Evolution Soccer, that there was not a lot of bullshit in this game. Like... Um, a lot of bullshit which does create uh, you to get really knocked off. But I've got to that stage now where I am getting really knocked off with a lot of things. Most of the time I don't really care that someone scores. They usually deserve it. But when it's like a, a crap penalty and there was a corner incident in the last episode as well which frustrated me. This frustrated me as well, this type of thing. He was doing some close dribbling, trying to get the ball out, rushing it, failing. And uh, Gertz on the outside of the area linking it with Salah and Salah puts it underneath the goalkeeper. Slide tackling, I do not like using that button. One, I give away loads of goals and two um, I give away loads of penalties and they're the last things I want to do especially when I'm not scoring myself I maybe need that just I, I maybe just need that decent striker who knows but I, I need summit to bolster my attack because at the moment we are struggling even though we did get a nice goal there with um Dudsek, I don't even know how to say his name still, uh, to make it 3-1. And that did see us come back into the game. And instantly afterwards, a link-up between D'Alessandro and Larson Toure does see us put in and a nice fake shot uh, round his uh, defender and smash it into the back of the net, making it 3-2. He then started passing around the back. And guess what? A 3-2 loss. Nothing we could do about it. And that takes us into our third and final game of this episode. And another two losses on the, sh on the sheet. Uh... The team we come up against now is Ibrahimovic, Lambert, Goethe, Iniesta, Bale, 
and Danny Agabar, Zagli, Juan Fran and Noya in net. I can't read the name of the left back, but it is a very strong team with 92 team spirit. My team spirit is very low, but hopefully um, with your guys' input, we can make the team a lot better, especially with the additions we're going to get over the weekend. Hopefully we get someone bloody good, because even though Melo was a was a marquee sign with the 88 rated, he hasn't done much in this team. Um, we need someone further forward who I can just use a target man and uh, link up with the rest of the players. So, with that, guys... Um, we are going to lose this game again. I may as well spoil it for you now. There's nothing I can do. There's some na very nice link up between his players and a nice cross into uh, his strike. Well, his player Iniesta who gets in front of a defender, making it one nil. It gets uh, worse because we uh, still can't defend. I don't know what it is about me not being able to defend. Um, he's like really close pressuring me. Could not get past him. And his fast play, it, like this type of counter attack, reminded me a lot how FIFA is. Quick uh, ping pong passing and a nice link up between Ebra and Gareth Bale. You're not catching Gareth Bale on a, on, a, on a, any day, to be honest. And he does make it two nil. That was a, a nice goal to concede. I wasn't really complaining about that. I was just pissed off at the way I was performing in these games. It's annoying because I like. I like to be good at games, and when I'm bad at games, it frustrates me. I probably get even more worse, and he does finish off there, making it 3-0. Very, very frustrating. We do get three agents, though, to spend at the end of this episode, um, but these are only the, like, the very basic agent agents. We've not hit the look that I've seen on Twitter, where people are hitting like uh, elite players with a one-star rated agent. So what I'd try there... He's linking up some of the agents, trying to get someone at least decent. But if you count the balls, I thought I was going to count, uh, land on an elite ball because of the glitch. But we land on a bronze, which is even more frustrating. And it's a 68 rated who's not going to enter the field of play. With that, we go and spend our second one, which I think was one free star. There is an elite ball um, and, a, and a gold ball, and we do land on a white ball, which is one which is just going to warm up the bench. So, guys, if you are new to the channel, drop a subscription, drop a like rating as well, and we are back this weekend with the elite uh, agent opening, so make sure you do check them out.